Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to talk about Zorin OS 17.1. It's a very, very exciting release. Now, I already made a video about Zorin OS 17, so if you want to know about the aesthetics part of Zorin OS, how it looks, what it feels like, what are the different types of appearances that you can choose from, Zorin OS 17 is the video to watch. I'll leave a link below the like button. It didn't get a ton of views, so you can show it some love if you want to. But again, the main focus of today's video is Zorin OS 17.1. So let's go through this one by one. Okay, so the first thing on our list is that Zorin OS has been very, very popular lately. It's been so popular that it has been downloaded over half a million times now that is really good and now most of these downloads come from windows and mac os which is not surprising given the fact that if people are already running linux they might not want to switch over to zorin os if they already have something which is you know which which works out for them so yeah that's that's good news people switching to linux this is very good but one of the things that zorin os does amazingly is provide windows app support because people coming over from windows especially if they're not tech savvy they still might want to run word or photoshop or whatever i mean these two are very bad examples but you get the idea so let's go through what's new and we're going to see some really exciting things about zorin os so they do have enhanced windows app support so with this release they're making it even easier to run your favorite apps regardless of which platform they were originally developed for. For example, they have tailored alternatives to more Windows apps, which is one of the common alternatives, I mean, one of the common paths that you can take when you're switching over from Windows. So what happens is Zorin OS can now detect over a hundred applications and it tries to provide more tailored recommendations so that kind of like apps that are available in Linux instead of Windows. So instead of sideloading their Windows executables, they try to provide something which is natively available in Linux land. For example, if someone is trying to launch a trying to install the Opera browser or Todoist now redirects you to install their native Linux versions from the built in software store. This makes it even easier to get the most compatible versions of these apps for the best experience in Zorin OS. So, for example, here you can see in this image to do is to win 32 is an unknown windows app your computer and personal data may be vulnerable to a breach this is a <laughs> this is a little bit of a strong statement but i mean it's not entirely wrong so yeah so you can also i mean go ahead with installing windows app support which i guess would install wine uh, or it rather comes out of the box with wine and or you can also install Todoist, which is natively available on Linux instead of the Windows versions. This is kind of like the best case scenario. Where you have the same application natively available on both platforms. But if it isn't there, for example, if you're trying to install Word uh, and it might already it might tell you that uh, you have LibreOffice installed on your system or if it isn't, then you can just go ahead and install that. I, I pretty much I think LibreOffice comes out of the box with the system, but you get the idea. Now this is also powered by Wine 9.0, which was very recently released. So uh, when you run Windows native apps in Zorin OS 17.1, you now get the full capabilities of the latest Wine 9.0 version. And this compatibility layer has now been significantly improved. Like they say, it really has matured over the years, especially after the advent of Proton. Uh, for Linux gaming, this Wine and Proton, they both have matured very, very fast and very, very supremely. So not only for games, even though most most of the use cases is dedicated to gaming because Proton forks a wine and most of the development is based on uh, providing support for the latest games and also older games, but it doesn't mean that it can't run apps. It can also run apps better than ever before. Now, all of the apps, Windows apps are not going to be perfect, which is why they do have a method to recommend you their alternatives, but some of the apps, it can run very well. Now, these are all the things that you have to test before switching over to Linux. What you can do is you can install Zorin OS 17, you can, you can get the ISO, use something like Belina Etcher and install it onto your pen drive, plug it into your computer and run Linux from there. Test to see if your apps 
whatever you want to run for work for personal reasons for gaming they all work properly and only then switch over to linux i understand uh the love for a piece of software or operating system is very very strongly felt by some people including me but at the end of the day we need to get the work done so if so i mean you have to check if your work is getting done on linux or on zorin os 17 by the methods that they have included now this there is a very high chance that it will be but still you have to check before so it also includes bottles out of the box so when you enable windows app support in zorin os 17 it now comes bundled with bottles bottles is an amazing tool it's an amazing utility where it creates containers sandboxed environments and provides a very neat and clean way to organize your apps and games bottles comes with a built-in app store which installs and pre-configures a growing selection of windows apps bottles initially i think was meant to run games and bottles became popular very quickly and bottles i i've never used it personally because i don't really play games on linux that much i don't really game that much but bottles is an amazing piece of software that you can use to play all your games you can neatly categorize not even games for example if you want to run the epic game store you can run the epic game store application entirely from bottles that is really amazing so, i mean you have alternatives like heroic but if you do want to run egs then bottles is the way to go so this is an amazing piece of software and if you haven't used it if you aren't on zorin by the way just whatever linux you're on if you haven't tried it i highly recommend you to try it okay let's move on now they also have the education edition which is now available and it comes alongside the Pro core and pro editions that there that there were already existed on the website now it appears the latest improvements to zorin os with educational software that makes learning better and more impactful at preschool primary and secondary schools i have not installed zorin os education edition i think it I think it takes a little bit of money to get this version so i'd love to see uh if you know if you have zorin os 17 or any zorin os education version installed i'd love to hear from you down in the comments about what kind of applications are pre-installed in the education version reading strip so based on feedback from teachers and students from around the world they are now including a reading strip in zorin os 17.1 education you have to enable this from the interface section of zorin appearance and you will instantly see a visual guide that follows your cursor to help you focus while reading so i do this to help me focus while reading and i i'm not sure if i have adhd but might as well right I me mean, <laughs> it's become a trend for people to say that they have adhd uh i'm not sure but whatever uh yeah it helps people who actually need it so this helps me and if highlighting a particular piece of the software helps some people then why not this is a really good opportunity and you can go to zorin appearance and there is a reading strip option now available this wasn't here previously because this is a new feature and you can enable this to get something like this which is really good for for concentrating even for people without adhd i find that it would be really helpful especially with if you don't use ad blockers and this would really help you to concentrate and dial in on the portions that you're reading without you know you, without your focus going over to the millions of ads and pop-ups that come up on every web page ever they also have logsec i'm not really sure what this is so let's just go through it and to help students and teachers organize their classwork we have included logsec okay it's your second brain a one-stop toolbox to manage your knowledge and think better take notes oh okay wow it looks good too i mean it totally looks amazing take notes write journals create flashcards this is very useful for learning foreign languages by the way reference links between your essays in the graph view and collaborate with whiteboards in one place it's open source and respects your privacy so you have total control over your data i mean it looks pretty good i use apple notes uh, by the way on my mac not really my mac uh, for my office but i mean something like this on a mac i would switch over from apple notes in the blink of an eye it looks so good really this is this is amazing and it looks good too i mean it's it looks minimalistic uh very neatly organized i really love this and you also get the latest LibreOffice. LibreOffice, if you didn't know is a very very robust alternative to 
to the Microsoft Word or Office suite. Now, as far as interoperability goes, it is an ever improving topic. So expect some of the spaces, some of the paragraphings to be uh, here and there topsy-turvy when you uh, open a DOCX file in, an, in LibreOffice Writer or when you open an ODT file in your um, in your window, you know, in your Microsoft Word processor. But overall, I mean, with a little bit of tweaking, you can get it to work. And in and of itself, LibreOffice is very, very powerful. There was a time when I ran LibreOffice solely uh, on my Windows and on my Linux machines. And I mean, it's one machine with dual booting and it's really, really amazing. So LibreOffice 24.2 latest edition. And it, it really is award winning and a lot of people use it. E even in my dad's office, they have Linux. Uh, I mean, all the computers have Linux and they use LibreOffice, which is really good. And it even brings better compatibility with Office 365 documents. Like I said, this is an ever evolving discussion, ever evolving topic, and they improve it with every release they make. And they also have enhancements to the user interface and many other improvements. And if you want to learn more, uh, I'll probably leave the link in the description, but that's okay for now. So with this upgrade, they have further achieved their goal of making Zorin OS the best alternative to Windows for work. This is really important. There are a lot of distrib distributions of Linux that are really important. I mean, that are really good when it comes to gaming, but for work, since they provide a lot of the things out of the box, most of these things you can configure on your own. But the, but the important word, the crux of the matter is that most of these are pre-configured for you. That takes a lot of the headache away when you are, when you are a very busy person and you don't have time to mess around with software. This is really good to see. And they also have newer apps. So many other pre-installed apps are updated in Zorin OS 17.1 for a more feature-rich experience out of the box. This also means that you need to download fewer software updates after installing Zorin OS onto your computer, something which is really important when you don't have Wi-Fi in your home. To be very honest, I didn't have Wi-Fi until I got a job in my home because I needed it to work from home for a long time. But before that, I would totally kill to have this kind of an experience. And I really hope YouTube doesn't monetize, demonetize my video for saying that. Uh, what a time to live in. And built-in support. So they have built-in support for Flatpak, App, Image, and Snap. Now I know this isn't the favorite of packaging formats for a lot of people, but you have the option. If you need something, if you need to get your work done, use whatever you have at your disposal. That's That should be enough. So this also ensures that you always have the latest versions of your favorite apps and you're not stuck to the version that comes with your distribution. And this, this really, really makes me happy. Uh, the files app and the file picker dialog will now display informative thumbnails for even more file formats. So you have .exe installers showing up thumbnails, app image apps showing thumbnails. This was a uh, I was really not happy when I was using app images in my pop OS system like a couple of years ago. I don't really use app images. I don't really have a ton of software in my Linux uh, install, but yeah, a lack of thumbnails really made me uh, unhappy because it would just be a gear icon like this. Uh, and that would be the default for everything. You also have thumbnails for raw images, which is really good. And you also have EPUB ebook support. So that is, it's not a minor improvement, but it does, and it, it does make a very meaningful contribution to a more cohesive and productive workflow. I cannot deny this statement. So this is what it looks like. It's similar on Pop OS as well. And now it looks like this. Look at the difference, man. It's heaven and hell. It's really heaven and hell. Man, these little things, I mean, it's not little by any means. These things make the experience so much more better. I just hope uh, that I think Zorin OS comes out with Linux uh, kernel 6.5. So that's some things which uh, Zorin OS team, I think, is working on more because usually by the time Zorin OS comes out, they are basing themselves on a off of a very old Ubuntu kernel. So it's good to see them bringing in your kernels so that uh, if you're gaming on your operating system, that will be taken care of too, especially if you are on an Intel or AMD graphics card. 
Now you also have a new window placement option in Zorin Appearance by popular demand. They've introduced the option to set how to place new windows from the interface section of Zorin Appearance. So you can now choose between new windows appearing centered or spread out across the desktop. I like spread personally, but if you like centered, if that's your jam, you now have the option. And you also have better security and compatibility. So Zorin OS 17.1 is now powered by the same version of the Linux kernel and graphics stack as the latest Ubuntu 23.10. So probably 6.5, like I said, kernel and also Mesa 23.3, probably. And it now supports Intel Core Ultra processors if you're trying to install it in the latest uh, Intel laptops. AMD Zen 4 CPUs, NVIDIA graphics cards, Wi-Fi 7 chipsets, Steam Deck. This is a very, very good thing to say, and it supports even more game controllers. Now, the latest security patches do give you peace of mind, and they will be coming until June 2027. So, seeing that this is 2024, you should be set for a few more years. Now, you can also upgrade from Zorin OS 17, and if you're using Zorin OS 16, you can also perform an in-place upgrade to Zorin OS 17 to, uh, I mean, it would be very easy because you don't need to really reinstall your data and files, so that's really good, and you can always download Zorin OS 17, you can buy from their websites, if you think they're doing a good job, you can uh, do all of that if you really want to. So with that, we come to the end of this video. Zorin OS 17 is a wonderful operating system that I really like and I really respect. And my respect for this uh, operating system is growing day by day, especially with this update, with how many things they pre-configure for the user. That is really cool because time is money, time is really valuable, and I don't want to spend time messing around with software there was a time when i did that and i still like to mess around with software but with you know ever increasing pressure from office trying to do multiple certifications working over time it even as much as i like to mess around with software i really can't most of the times and when i am at my computer i would just like my things to work my games to be running and i can relate to this statement more and more so yeah but it doesn't mean that i don't love uh, spending time tweaking software, but if I just want to play a game for five minutes, if that's all I have, then I would rather spend my time playing games rather than fixing software. And I really appreciate the fact that Zorin OS is doing this for its users, which is fantastic. So with that, we come to the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you on the next video. Peace.